We're about three months away from Election Day, and both Trump and Harris are turning their focus towards black voters. Former President Donald Trump is now facing backlash over comments he made questioning Harris's racial identity while attending the National Association of Black Journalists convention here in Chicago. CBS News correspondent Leah Mishkin tells us how Harris is responding. Last night, former President Donald Trump returned to Pennsylvania nearly three weeks after surviving an assassination attempt in the battleground state. I shouldn't be with you, but I am. Hours earlier in Chicago, Trump sparked controversy at the National Association of Black Journalists convention when he questioned Vice President Kamala Harris's racial identity. She was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Harris is the daughter of a Jamaican father and Indian mother. She attended the historically black Howard University and is a member of the nation's oldest black sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha. Harris responded to Trump's attack at the gathering of another historically black sorority in Houston. It was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. The American people deserve better. Trump's comments also drew swift rebuke from the White House. It's insulting. Trump's running mate J.D. Vance defended him while rallying in Arizona. He's running to be president for all Americans. Now, he's already got record support from black voters, Hispanic voters, union workers, and many other Americans who have been lied to and betrayed by Kamala Harris and the fake news media. Today, Vance will tour the southern border. Harris will speak at the funeral of Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Leah Mishkin, CBS News.